Well, hello friends, uh, welcome back. We're outside today, out of the kitchen for a change. Uh, the little one is very pleased with being outside. Um, I just thought it's freezing cold, but I thought I'd come and do the first garden tour of the year, see how we got through the winter, see how we managed it. So let's go have a look, shall we? So the first glorious thing that meets me when I come outside uh, is ah, all of these beautiful um, bulbs coming up so these are all these are ornamental so we've got some tulips and some oh muscari is it i can't remember how you pronounce them so they're lovely coming up um yeah so they're nice and look at this look my rhubarb is coming up my friend dropped this off at the front door she dug up a patch of hairs a, a bunch of hairs separated it and split it for me and it's actually starting to come up i'm so excited uh, love rhubarb love making um barbecue sauce with rhubarb best barbecue sauce ever um next up we've got the trees little this is my apple tree that didn't do a great deal last year all little tiny ones but it's starting to bud we've pruned it back and then my pear tree over there hello <laughs> little girl pear tree over there but the other thing to show you is there's a mess everything's blown over but we've got three new trees so they've got this is a new apple tree here this little branch of nothing um this is the pear tree and just over there in that pot is a cherry tree i'm so excited i'll get to this bit in a minute just wait um we've then got the garlic so all of this all of it that and that and that and another one over there is garlic so i'm really pleased with that i'm hoping these rubecchias come back so they're going in the front herb garden <laughs> they're both rubecchias i think um so i'm hoping they come back let's go over to the beds then so we start on the beds i need to seriously get some more uh gravel to top these bits up it's all part in ways um so we've got this bed which is just covered at the moment because um i'm not ready to plant it yet and i don't want it to go loads and loads of weeds over the winter so we've got that covered up this bed though woohoo so we've got some broccoli ready not ready uh, growing so this is winter broccoli i planted last year and then we've got a cabbage there we've got some little baby cabbages growing over and all the weeds i know and some more broccoli and these were the garlics that i obviously missed so there's one there and there's one over there i missed them because i've cleared this of garlic because they all went funny but obviously i didn't so this is the compost bin and this is going to be moved to here. This is where all my potatoes were. I've emptied all the sacks out of that. This is going to be cleared a bit and we're going to move this compost bin. When we tip it out this year, I'm not going back in the same place. It's going to be going there. So I've got easier access from all the rest of the garden to come over here. This is all the wind. Look, it's blowing everything everywhere. I need to go around and tidy up. All of my fruit is doing well. I think we could probably do with trimming some of the... Um, uh blueberries down a bit they're on the left hand side there and the raspberries are fine but look the honeyberries have got some um leaves on them already i love it they're the first ones of the season love it um another bed that has been covered just so that i can get a head start without having to weed everything this is all the wind has blown it we've had a 50 mile an hour winds most days absolutely ridiculous um hence why again i literally come out the door and i'm just showing you what the state of the garden is um this is all my onions i planted a full bed of onions in the autumn last year because you can never have enough onions it's as simple as that um and then this is another bed i've put compost on the top of this um i didn't put um cardboard on it this is where we grew all the lettuce last year and it did really really well i didn't put cardboard on it and actually it's not too bad there's not many weeds i'm not gonna have to do much weeding in there um my little makeshift trellis system has been blown by the wind so we'll have to sort that out so the thing with this top section i've been umming and ahhing and going dra dragging my hair out really with it because it's a pain it's going to cost so much money to do anything structural and meaningful with the top of this you've seen it before the top of this where somebody's removed the decking and just left it that was before we moved in and it's been like it for two two we've been here two and a half years now and it's been like it all that time because we just haven't known what to do with it without having to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on it well we've come up with an idea so this is the reality of gardens i'm afraid you can't do everything at once so this has been the problem look it's all been removed decking 
Um, I've saved those from the old greenhouse, so they're on there. Um, and we were going to put the greenhouse here. We need to get rid of this as well. Um, so that's why I covered it all with tarp, so I could get it all done. You can see the um, base of it there, look. We tried to dig it into the ground, but this is on a slope, so we've had to really struggle to try... Well, we struggled to try and get it level. Um, so what we've decided, though, is instead of the greenhouse going here, we're going to put the greenhouse up there. So as you can see, the wall is disintegrating. So what our thoughts are, take all of this out, put some sleepers in to give it a bit more of a stable retainer, because that's all um, earth behind there. So if we can dig a bit of that out, put the retaining wall in there, fill it with gravel, put the greenhouse up there. That's why the, the one side of the greenhouse that I've put together is up there, so we could see whether it would reach the... Um, past the window or not so the greenhouse can go up there we'll have this level as another so um, my bed's coming across here another bed there a little walkway up there all my trees can go down here I can have another bed here and a little bench I want a little bench because one of the things I found was I haven't got anywhere to sit and enjoy my garden I love this garden it might not look nice to everybody else and yes there's a lot of work needs doing it needs prepping for spring it needs you know I need to tidy all the mud and the weeds and all of that sort of stuff when the weather warms up a bit it's freezing um, that'll be my job to do but I've got nowhere to sit and have a cup of tea in my garden it's got to be up there on the sh on the level and then all of these houses up here can see what I'm doing I want to be able to sit down in my garden and just enjoy it and relax. And that way, if I get all that sorted out, that's the way I can do it. And I've extended my garden space and I've got my greenhouse up and we've used that stupid bit of thing at the top that we couldn't figure out what to do with. And some sleepers and some gravel, gravel, excuse me, it's cold, my lips aren't working, um, are going to be a heck of a lot cheaper than decking it or paving it or whatever it else you know the other options are so it at least gets it used and it gets it um functioning for us because that's at the end of the day what you want isn't it you want a garden that you enjoy and that functions how you want it to function so we lo i love being in the garden i love being growing things so it makes a bit more sense to do that and then i can have extra beds up there um that's not a problem and then I've got a space down here to put pots. I've got all sorts of, we've got space over there to sit. We've got space up there to sit. So I think that's the plan. And at least it gets something done. Even if it doesn't work out perfectly and I change it next year, at least it gets something done with it. Because I'm sick to death of the eyesore. I know what an eyesore it is. It's just a mess and I'm sick of it. So I think that's our plan to get something done. Oops, are you all right, love? All right. <laughs> She's just running at the, the net on the trampoline and bouncing back. Um, but at least it gets something done with the garden, is what I was trying to say. Um, and it makes it look a bit better and a bit more pleasant to be in. Because I'm fine looking this way. This way looks lovely with all my beds, and especially when the green's all that. Look that way. Ooh, it looks a right mess. We'll see. So next, we've got the strawberries. I've cut all these down, you see, because all the runners have gone mad, can you see? I've cut all the dead leaves and all the... the growth and now all that's left there is the stuff that the new growth for all of them um, I've pinned down a load of runners as well and some of them have come into this bed so I've cleared this bed because we're going to have the herb garden in the front I've cleared a load of this bed and this bed and I'm just going to let these run and every time one second every time the runners come over I'm going to you know stake them down and then transplant them to this and then we can have one two three beds of strawberries because we really really love strawberries so there you go that's our post apocalyptic weather winter tour <laughs> there's not much going on but there's a lot to do there's an awful lot to do i've got seeds started in there if you've seen my um, stories on instagram and things there's a lot of seeds i've started some seeds this week not a lot but i've started some seeds this week but the work once the weather oh it's so so cold my fingers are freezing um but once the work once the weather warms up the work has got to start because i've got to get this garden sorted I'll, i love being out here um so it's worth it it's worth putting in the effort i need to make sure <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> clinging to my leg 
Um, so it's got to start. I've got to get a tip run done, as ever. There's always stuff to take to the tip. Um, get the beds sorted, decide what I'm planting where this year, get some trellising up, get all the rubbish sorted, get some more gravel, get some more beds. It's never ending. However, we're going to do it as cheap as possible without compromising on structures and things like that. Um, yeah, and we'll get out and enjoy this garden again this year. Um, so, hope you come along and stay tuned. See you soon.